Hello everyone, I'm Frank, and today I have something very exciting to talk to you about. My family will be going to Disney World this week, and I'm going to be vlogging my entire trip. So today, I'm going to tell you guys what parts we are going to, and other stuff we're going to do during our trip. On Wednesday, we have a flight from JFK to Orlando International. We will then take the Disney Magical Express to the boardwalk, where we will be staying. After checking into our room, we will unpack and enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Then on Thursday, we'll be going to Hollywood Studios. Our three Fast Pass Plus attractions for that day are for the first time in forever, Rock and Roller Coaster, and the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. And we'll be riding all the other attractions there like Star Tours and Toy Story Mania. And even though Toy Story Land will not be open that day, we're actually going to be going back to Hollywood Studios on July 4th after Toy Story Land's grand opening. We're really excited for that. And for dinner, we're going to the 50s Primetime Cafe, which is a really great restaurant. I was there on my last Disney trip in February of 2017, and I feel like the 1950s theme to the restaurant was just amazing, and the food was really good. I can't wait to go back. On Friday, we'll be going to the Magic Kingdom. Our Fast Pass Plus attractions for that day are Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, Pirates of the Caribbean, and Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. I'm really looking forward to see that day. It's a brand new Happily Ever After fireworks show that replaced the Wishes fireworks show last year. On Saturday, we'll be at the boardwalk for most of the day. Then in the afternoon, we'll be going to Disney Springs to have dinner at the Boathouse. And we might even get to ride the Amphicars too. And if you don't know what an Amphicar is, it is literally a car that drives on water. Looks like a lot of fun and I hope we can go on it. And that would wrap up the day at Disney Springs. On Sunday, we are going to the Animal Kingdom. When we get there, we'll have breakfast at Donald's Dining Safari. After we eat, we will get fast passes for the Rivers of Light. First time I am seeing this show, so I'm very excited about it. Our Fast Pass Plus attractions for that day are Dinosaur, the Cali River Rapids, and the Avatar Flight of Passage. I can't wait to go to Pandora. Last time I was at Disney, it was still under construction, so I can't wait to ride Fly Passage and the River Journey. Very exciting, and I hope we can go on Dinosaur a few times, since I recently heard a rumor that Dinosaur will be re-themed to Indiana Jones sometime in 2019. Now this is just a rumor, I don't know if this is going to happen, but if it is going to happen, then that would be sad for fans of Dinosaur who love that attraction, including me. I think Dinosaur is a great attraction. So I hope that doesn't happen, and that would wrap up our day at Animal Kingdom. And on Monday, we will be going to my favorite Walt Disney World theme park, Epcot. Our Fast Pass Plus attractions for that day are Soaring Around the World, Spaceship Earth, and Turtle Talk with Crush. And if you guys look at my top 20 Walt Disney World attractions video, you will see that Test Track is my favorite attraction in Walt Disney World. It has always been since I first rode the 1.0 version when I was around 5 or 6. Now the brand new 2.0 version is a whole lot better now that you can design your own car and verse your friends and family to see who made the better car. When I uploaded a test track complete experience video, I went against my sister and my cousin. At the end of the day, I would definitely like to see the Illuminations Reflections of Earth since I heard that in 2019, it's going to be replaced with another show as part of the Epcot overhaul. On Tuesday, we will be going back to the Magic Kingdom. Our Fast Pass Plus attractions for that day are the Haunted Mansion, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, and Peter Pan's Flight. In the afternoon, we will be going to Disney's Contemporary Resort to have dinner at the Wave. And because that day will be July 3rd, I'm pretty sure Disney will have their 4th of July fireworks show that day. Disney does their 4th of July fireworks show and their New Year's fireworks show today's 4th of July would be July 3rd and 4th. I think they do that. They used to do that. I'm not sure if they still do. Hopefully they do. I would like to see that show. And I know that they do their New Year's spectacular on December 30th and December 31st. I hope they do have their 4th of July fireworks show that day. It's a good show with fireworks surrounding Magic Kingdom. Hopefully we can see it. And the Magic Kingdom is going to be open until 2 o'clock in the morning that day for extra magic hours. Last time we were at the Magic Kingdom, when it was open until 2 o'clock in the morning, was my 2016 trip, 
We rode a lot of attractions and we went on Splash Mountain and Big Thunder Mountain at night. It was a lot of fun and it really brings a new experience riding outdoor attractions at night. Then on Wednesday, July 4th, we are going back to Hollywood Studios. Our Fast Pass Plus attractions for that day are again the Rock and Roller Coaster and the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. And we even have a Fast Pass Plus for the new Slinky Dog Dash that will open on June 30th as well as Toy Story Land. Even though we have a fast pass, I'm guessing the wait time for the fast pass line will still be about 30 minutes to an hour. And I'm pretty sure the standby line will be about 5 hours. We have seen this before with Frozen Ever After in Epcot, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout in Disneyland California Adventure, and Pandora in Animal Kingdom. Then we will have lunch at Mama Melrose Italian Restaurant. And just like in Animal Kingdom, how we're getting the Rivers of Light Fast Pass after we have breakfast, after we eat there, we will be getting a Fast Pass for Fantasmic. Then after we eat, we're going to eat there for lunch, so we will have time to ride the attractions a bit more, see some shows, and go to Fantasmic, and I'm sure we'll have a lot of fun. I love seeing that show every time we go to Hollywood Studios. And then... Since Hollywood Studios is open till about 10.30, I think we'll ride a few more attractions to end the day. And on Thursday, July 5th, I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. We're either going to Epcot or Animal Kingdom, but I don't know. So there's not really that much I can tell you there. And then on Friday, July 6th, we will be packing our bags to head home. It's always sad leaving, but I just think about the great plans that I have for the rest of the summer. Well, there you guys have it. Those are my plans for Disney this year. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you will not miss any of my vlogs. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.